Hey guys, it's June from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of the most useful tools in Adobe Illustrator, the pen tool. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line, curve line, and how to use pen tool to trace an image or create outlines. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to keep watching this video. Okay, so now let's start using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. So obviously, if you want to use the pen tool, the first thing you need to do is to select the pen tool from the toolbar. So this is what the pen tool looks like, if you don't know what it looks like. So go ahead and click on that and choose the first option, the pen tool, or you can use a keyboard shortcut P to activate a pen tool. And now I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with a pen tool. Well, actually quite a lot of things. So, all right, the first thing you can do is to draw a straight line. You can use a pen tool to draw a line. So I'm going to... First of all, you need to get rid of the fill color. You can get rid of the fill color here under the toolbar and choose none. You can choose a stroke color, whatever you like, uh, which will be the pen tool path. I'm just going to use the default black color for now. So it's super easy. All you need to do is to click to create the first anchor point and then click wherever you want the line to be to create a second anchor point. So you can click a couple of times. You can create an open path or you can close a path as well. If you want to create a straight line, all you need to do is click to create the first anchor point, hold the shift key and click again and you'll get a straight line and if you hit the escape key and it's going to end the line so you don't see the handle uh, moving around. Okay, so you just learned how to create straight lines using the pen tool. Now I'm going to show you how to create curved lines using the pen tool. Similarly, you will be creating anchor points to connect the lines together. However, when you create a curved line, you need to actually drag the line. So I'm going to show you an example of a random curve, let's say. So I'm going to go ahead and click to create the first anchor point, And then I want to make a curve up to here, let's say. So what I need to do is I'm going to click and drag to make the curve. As you can see, I'm holding the handle right here. You can move up and down the handle to change the direction of the curve and then you can click again to create another curve. Actually, you will already see kind of a preview of the line of the path. So yeah, you can create different curve. Just a quick tip here. Actually, the further you drag, the smoother the line will be. So if you are um, just clicking like really, really close to the last anchor point that you just click, as you can see, the curve is going to be really sharp. If you drag further, you have more space to drag the handle so that you can create a smoother curve. Anyways, there will be other assisting tools that you can use to make the curve a little bit smoother. Another thing that I want to mention is the add anchor point tool and the delete anchor point tool, which they are part of the pen tool as well. For example, if I hover on one of the anchor point, that I just created, you will see like a minus sign. That's because um, automatically activates the delete anchor point too if you hover on an existing anchor point. And if you hover on a path, let's say, um, you will see a plus sign. It automatically activates the add anchor point tool. So for example, if I just click on this path, it's going to add a new anchor point. And if I click on this path, it's going to delete that anchor point. All right, and then the next tool is anchor point tool, which you can use to move and edit the anchor point as, as I just mentioned earlier. You can drag the handle to make it smoother. Besides that, you can also use a curvature tool. Same thing, just click on any of the anchor points and then just move them around to make the curve um, smoother. Much better than before, right? Okay, so I just show you how to use a pen tool to create straight lines and curved lines. So hopefully you already get the very basic of the pen tool. Oh yeah, and I also show you how to edit part of the anchor points or add and delete anchor points. So now let's get into the practical stuff. How about let's trace an image here and then I'm going to show you what else you can do with the pen tool. Let's start tracing this image. I promise it's not going to be too hard. 
And if you want to practice tracing with a pen tool using this image, I'm going to paste a link of this image in the description below. And if you want to use that, feel free to do it. Okay, so let's start tracing. We are only going to trace the outline here of the cap body, not the face feature for this tutorial. Okay, go ahead and grab the pen tool and then choose a stroke color. I would say the lighter the better so that you can see the line easier. So it doesn't matter where you start with. I'm going to start here from the middle. So remember what I showed you how to draw the line. So basically you will be just drawing the line around this image. So I'm going to start here. And since here there's a little curve, I'm going to click on the middle a little bit and then start tracing. Actually it would be a good idea to zoom in so you can see it even better. So I'm going to trace like this, click and drag to create the curve. All right, it's pretty easy, right? So that's pretty much done. I know probably not all of you get a smooth line like this. Well, actually I'm going to hide the image. You can actually delete the image to see how the line looks. If this is your first time, you might get something like this. Well, don't worry, it's okay. If you get something like this, that's because you have the anchor points really close to each other. So then it's harder to make the line smooth when you have the anchor point literally like right next to each other. So try to make it like a little bit further from each other when you want to create a curve. As I showed you earlier, the closer you, you have the anchor points, the harder it is to make like a smooth curve. So if you, for example, let's say if you click so far and you can create a much better curve like this instead of something like this. So once you have the image traced, you can actually um, use this outline. If you want to make a shape, you can feel it to see how it looks. Yeah, then you have got like a cat outline. And if you want to make it a silhouette, you can feel it black or then add any of the element that you want. And otherwise, if you want to create a clipping mask, you can go ahead and select the shape, the pen tool path that you just created. You can either field or with stroke. And then select the image as well, select both. And you can go ahead and right click and choose make clipping mask. And then you will have the cut, cut out. A lot of people use this way to cut images in Adobe Illustrator. It isn't as easy as in Photoshop to remove backgrounds. So yeah, this is a common way to remove image background in Adobe Illustrator. So see, the pen tool is really, really powerful. So now you don't have the background, you can add any elements that you want actually to the background. Yeah, you can make something really, really simple. You can add background to the image cutout and yeah, basically a lot of things. If you want to check out a quick and easy step-by-step -step guide on how to use a pen tool in Adobe Illustrator, make sure to check out my tutorial where I share the very detailed step-by-step -step along with some frequently asked questions. Okay, so that's pretty much about the pen tool basics in Adobe Illustrator. If you find this video helpful and if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and a subscribe to my channel.